where they do a lot of tillage, and the ones with the cover crops. And we'll talk about that later. Now, oh, by the way, you thought I wasn't going to call on you, did you? You thought this was going to be passive learning. Wrong. I'm going to call on you, and I'm going to say, okay, guys, what is going on? Why is this one holding together the no-till, but the one that's heavily disturbed till system, why is it falling apart? What do you think? What's going on? Oh, by the way, please feel comfortable. I didn't know this. So let's, we're learning together. Didn't we all say, collectively, we all have kinds of education experience. Let's learn together today. Well, speaking from an elementary education, I'd say uh, your Elmer's glue is a lot better. <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. That's pretty, that's pretty intuitive. I mean, there are glues. Chop. Biotic glues created by who? Who's creating the glues here, ladies and gentlemen? Earthworms? Who else? Morris? The microbes. Like they're breaking down residues, saprophytic fungus. You mean when earthworms are ingesting, egesting soil, they're breaking these fantastic biotic glues? What else? Ah, it's organic. Yeah. Uh, the, the fungi. Excellent. Oh, you didn't disappoint me at all. Good for you. <laughs> mycorrhizae. As the mycorrhizae are searching for water, they create these glue called what? Glomalin. Glomalin. Oh my goodness. Glomalin <laughs> is a, a real proteinaceous glue, polysaccharides. The root exudates. So you mean our soil is a living ecosystem? Oh, I thought it was just a chemistry shit where all the structure was just chemical and ions flowing around. That's what I walked away with. Oh, and I did take graduate level soils, microbiology. What happened? Maybe I was just ate the book, I guess, huh? Maybe I'm just one of the dumbest guys around. But guess what I'm finding out? A lot of our people walking out of the university, I don't care where, walked away thinking and forgetting that the soil is an ecosystem. She's diverse, she's complex, and she's beautiful. Now, what happened to this complex system? What happened to it? What happened to the glues? We already, we already cemented in our minds that it comes from glues, right? What happened to the glues? What? what? Broken. How did they get broken down? Chemicals? It wasn't the chemicals. Okay, we know that the mechanical tillage did something. What did it do? Air. Ah, who said air? Okay, now, you pushed air into the system, and what happened? It oxidized. Right. It oxidized, but how did they get oxidized? Microbes ate it. That's called mineralization. You know what? Did you guys, have you ever heard of the term copotrophic bacteria from the word copious? They love rich carbon substrates. Oh, by the way, those glues are all carbon-based. You know what you do when you run a rototiller? And I've been working on my dad. I said, Dad, when you run that rototiller, you know what you're doing? You're pushing oxygen into the system. Two things are happening, Dad. I said, soil has more CO2 than the atmosphere. It's like opening a can of beer. CO2 flux leaves. Oxygen enters. You mix the soil. The microbes go crazy. These copotrophic bacteria, they're like piranhas. And they start eating the glues and the organic matter. And then what do they release to you? What do, you, what do they release when those glues are eaten and the organic matter is eaten? CO2. No? Well, CO2 is part of the process because that's they're respiring. Inorganic nitrogen, right? You just took, you just draw it from the bank from the organic matter and the glues and the structure. So you went, you mineralized, and yet you disturbed the soil ecosystem. Oh, and it released nitrogen to you at a very high cost, diminishing the soil ecosystem. Let me give you a perspective. If I walked into your house, Kirk, and I had a bulldozer, knocked it down, and then the next morning I said, I want you to go teach class. And mess up your life, wouldn't it? You still want me to go function? You just created incredible, he's got, his house took a lot of order and thought to put it together, did it not? Bulldozer comes out, it creates incredible disorder. That's what you've done to the soil ecosystem in one disc operation. 
That's not destructive. Now, let's take it a little further. Little rain simulator. I go to the dollar store. Little rain simulator. Same soil. This is my North Dakota. We're going to do this twice. We're going to, we got some soil from my beautiful Cajun friends. This is North Carolina. The con, this is the conventional. Morris is the, going to have the yellow stuff here. The one I drink all that beer last night at the Mexican restaurant. No, no. No, I'll have a little It's colored water. It's just dyed water. But I just, I just like to see the bacteria. It's bacteria. It's bacteria free. Okay. Sure. This is colored water. Okay, on the bottom. This is the wine I drink. Yeah. <laughs> That's the wine. On the bottom, I have holes. <coughs> These are plastic yarn tainer jars I get from uh, Amazon.com. Real cheap, six bucks. Dollar. Put them in there. Oh, you're probably asking, well, how did I collect it? I go to the top surface of the soil. It's dry. Collect it. I put this much. And the only thing I do is tamp the edges so I don't get preferential flow. Real simple. Okay? Now, we're going to see which of these, Sharon's the no-till, Morris, unfortunately I gave you the conventional, but we want to see which one allows the water to infiltrate, hit the pan on the bottom. Ready? Get out of the way, get set, now and go. And let's see what happens on this system. allow the water to infiltrate first in the conventional. I thought when you till the soil and it get fluffy and the water enters better. How many thought that way? I did too. And the other one didn't say that. They're not being honest. No. <laughs> and I'm being honest with myself because I designed an $80,000 pivot. Farmer tilled the heck out of it. He turns the pivot on, water runs off the pivot, I get a phone call. Don't you guys know what you're doing? Hey, what do you expect? It's government. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being funny. <laughs> we got good government employees. Oh, by the way, if I quit, uh, if I do, if I quit my presentation in about the next 15 minutes, I'm not getting paid anymore. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Now look up, now guys, why, why did the no-chill allow the water to infiltrate? This is really important. The micropores, macropores are there intact. Why? You didn't oxidize them, you didn't mineralize them. They're still intact. Oh my goodness, no pores, no infiltration. No pores, no infiltration. What happened, let me tell you, two years ago, we had $1,000 fertilizer, folks. $1,000 fertilizer in North Carolina. What happened to that fertilizer, Morris? It's in the river. It's in the lake. You know what the organic matter on this soil is, ladies and gentlemen? 2.75%. You know what its forest is? 3%. You know what the neighbors is? Half a percent. This soil is addicted to fertilizer and herbicide. This one has gleaned itself. It is getting healthier and healthier and healthier. What we're going to learn today is how to make that soil system healthy using our tools. Now you see why I had to do this first? You can't talk about tools if you don't understand the most important resource on your farm is your soil. It's not about the coal. It's not about the cows. It's not about the drill. It's not about the tools. It's about making it healthy. It cycles nutrients. Now, we're going to do one more. We're going to see if it works in Louisiana. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Go ahead and ask a question. Any questions, guys? Why is it that this didn't know? Okay. Like Why is this clear? <coughs> the glues are holding it intact. Because you hold the but glues. The glues are all... Now, here's let me, let me explain this. 
water. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're excited. Go ahead and tell her. <laughs> well, this right here is absorbing the water. It's, it's absorbing the water. water. It's, it's there. It's not a cause. I had one farmer come up to me and say, you did something. You stuck on one. I'm from Missouri. You got to show me. He got, you got to show me. He goes, it's not dry. It's not wet in there. Sure enough, break it up. She's going to break it up. See, did the water get it all the way through? He did, didn't he? Water entered all the way in. The glues held it together. <laughs> That's why you have the pores. The glues keep all the particles in space. They don't collapse. This is a collapsed soil. This soil is bacteria driven. This have all the species in there. They have the fungus, the bacteria, all the critters. This one, they're gone. Has more disease problems, has more can cycle nutrients on its own. You see where we're going with this? All right, now let's go do one more. And then we'll sit down. Okay? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna change here. Let's get that stuff there that we'll, we'll do one more. Yeah, you. When you do a soil sample, most of the organisms are up in the upper six, seven, eight inches. Yeah. It depends what you're sampling for. Right. It depends what you're sampling for. Here, let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna get, we're gonna do this. Man, it really do, does look like that, doesn't it? Maybe <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm kidding, huh? Maybe. <laughs> hey, yeah. Okay, now, now. We're ready again. Now, unfortunately, you always end up with the, the disturbed yeah, soil. Yeah, that's okay. Maybe you're disturbed, huh? Maybe you are disturbed. Hey, Morris, I'm going to tell you a lot of people said you can't work for your CS. You're too disturbed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to do the same thing. Now, this is interesting, ladies and gentlemen. This is sugar cane. Heavily tilled. They burn the residue. Okay? They burn the food. They burn the residue, lots of tillage. This one is the forest floor. The forest. They're only about 20, 30 feet apart. Okay? Okay, now, let's do this again. Let's see if it's going to work. Oh my goodness, it worked again, Tom. What's going on? It's got the organic matter, the glues, those precious glues. That is cool, isn't it? Now we can talk. Now we can have a discussion. Now we're ready to learn. I had to peel all the stuff you've been taught in the past. Join the club. I had to do the same thing. We're going to have to sell her, kill her. Oh, I got rid of mine quick. But here's the thing. Our organic brothers and sisters, I love them dearly. Their biggest Achilles heel is tillage, but they're awesome in diversity. Our no-tillers are really good about not disturbing the soil, but they're so chemically dependent, it's horrible. And we'll talk about that later. In fact, George, I collected some of your soils. I'm not going to tell you what's going to happen, but we, we, and we'll do it tomorrow, okay? We'll save the best for the rest. Okay, guys, we're ready. Let's go on. Thank you. You guys were great.